Hi, I'm Lee Partridge, and welcome back to Colu TV for today, our pre-match show ahead of the game against Notts County. On the show this evening, we'll take a look back at a previous game against Notts County. And there's plenty of goals involved in that from 2019. We'll also get the pre-match thoughts of Ben Garner. And also, we're going to start today by getting the thoughts of Samson Tavidi. Uh, thoughts ahead of today's game, but also this is his 50th game for the club. I think that's quite incredible considering he's just 19. So we'll get some of his thoughts on those 50 games and we'll take a look at some of his highlights. So, Samson, take it away. Samson, another tough game coming up on Saturday, Notts County, top of the league, but they're the games you want to play in the big games against the sides that are near the top of the table? Um, yeah, 100%, obviously Notts County, good side, obviously um, top of the league, had a good couple of results, scored a lot of goals, but obviously we're in form. Um, I think our performance and the result doesn't speak for the performance on Saturday, but um, obviously just got to put that right this Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah. And how much of the talk this week has been about the first 10 minutes about not conceding, mm. but then building on the positives of the of the, other, the rest of the game. Yeah, hundred percent. It's all about obviously being staying focused and concentrate for the whole ninety minutes. And um, obviously, we worked on that. We've spoken together. The team will come together. Honestly, we're going to put that right this Saturday. So yeah. And you personally, you'll want to build on the goal you scored as well in that second half, uh, and, and and make sure you're always in Ben Garner's minds for for team selections. Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously, you could have had a couple couple on Saturday. Obviously, just got to obviously keep doing what I'm doing, get in the right positions and get more goals, so yeah. yeah and, and obviously, uh, if selected on Saturday, I think it'll be your 50th appearance for Colts United. Is this something that's come quicker than you expected or were you, is it stuff that you wanted and you, you knew it'd come sooner um, rather than later? So it's a bit of both. obviously something I wanted, but obviously it's, a, obviously it's a surprise as well, obviously, um, to get 50 games, especially at my age as well, is obviously a big achievement for me. but. Um, yeah, it's a proud, it'd be a proud moment for me if I am playing, but yeah. And you're one of a, a good few young players in the Colts United lineup at the moment. Uh, is it a case of you guys sticking together, knowing that if you're good enough, you'll be given the chance? It doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, hundred percent. Doesn't matter how old you are. Isn't it? Like, um, if you if you're, like you're training with us or playing with us, you're there for a reason. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Obviously, the club is a great club, um, good platform for youngsters as well. So, yeah. yeah and obviously, yeah. Uh, in your time at Colts United, you played uh, alongside uh, quite a number of other strikers. Have you learned off all of them, and even the younger ones that play alongside you, yeah, even lads coming in? Yeah, 100% obviously I've played with a lot of strikers um, last couple of years. Um, obviously, still got Tom Hopper, John Akinde here, um, experienced players, obviously, even Joe Taylor, obviously, as well. But obviously, I'm still learning off them every day. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm still young, still got a lot to learn, so yeah. And, yeah. and in recent games, it's been you and Joe Taylor, uh, you know, playing as a, a front two. How have you enjoyed that in the last few games? And um, yeah, it's been it's been really good. Obviously, working with Joe. Obviously, me and him we built a good relationship as well. So obviously, we get on well. And obviously, Saturday kind of reflected on the pitch. Obviously, him getting me the assist for my goals. So yeah. Always great to hear from Sampson, and quite incredible, uh, making his fiftieth appearance today. Just. 19 years of age so what a career that guy's already had and will continue to have now it's time to get the pre-match thoughts of our head coach ben garner ben tough game on saturday but how much of the focus has been about how good we were at crew rather than the first eight ten minutes where we weren't so good a balance of both if i'm honest um yeah we spoke around the start of the game we showed the stats um, that reflected that opening period, and then we contrasted it with the remainder of the game. And uh, you know, it was night and day, as as the game probably showed. So it was a case of, yeah, the positives were great, really strong performance, and we deserved to win the game. But the reason we didn't was this, and uh, uh, we need to make sure that we're focused and switched on for the entire game, whether that's the first eight, eight in the middle of the game, eight at the end of the game complete focus across the game, hit our performance levels. Um, but the, the players are chomping at the bit. They're looking forward to getting going on Saturday and it should be an exciting game and one that we're, we can't wait for. And with 
even against the top teams in the league, we're creating chances and getting in good positions. Yeah. I suppose the next step is that clinical edge and that ruthlessness in and around the penalty area. Yeah, I think that's coming. Um, we can work on that. We're creating a lot of opportunities. We've had over 60 shots in the last three games. If, we, if we're averaging 20 shots at goal a game, um, that's fantastic. You know, coming in last season, the average was just over seven shots a game. So it is a, you know, a huge improvement in that, which is great. But we need the results to follow. It's no point uh, improving this, improving that. We're making progress in all these areas. The, the last little piece now, if you like, the last sort of five, ten percent is is winning games, making sure that we're we're doing that with the performances that we're getting across the season. We keep performing as we are um, in those last three games. Those levels wins are gonna are gonna come a plenty. So. We have to make sure that we're maintaining those performance levels and keep building, but we need to have that winning mentality in every minute of every game to make sure we get what we deserve, sometimes even what we don't deserve. And uh, against the size higher up in the table, it doesn't look like we play any differently. It doesn't look like the, the lads are overawed by who they're playing. They just go about the game plan as you'd expect against anyone. Yeah, absolutely. I think we, quality-wise in our squad now and the way we play, we can compete with anyone. Uh, we can beat anyone. It's uh, it's just showing that now and, and doing it on a regular basis. You know, we've done it against Gillingham. Should have beat Mansfield, who are near the top. You know, I'm confident we can go and beat Notts County on Saturday, who are currently top of the table. So, uh, as I say, every, we have full respect for the opposition. Notts County, really good side, really well coached, clear clear identity, host of talented players and uh, and quality within their team. Um, but so have we. You know, we've got lots of quality. We've got. Uh, a team that's gelling more and more and coming together, uh, a young, hungry group that are, that are determined for success. And as I say, all the players are looking forward to the game. Yeah, and most seasons there's a team that gets promoted and then uses that momentum to, to push on in the mm. division higher the next season. But it's no surprise to anyone that Notts County and Wrexham, to a degree, are doing well in this division. One, with the funds that they've got, and two, yeah. of how well they played last year. Yeah, I think when you've had that season to you know, build your team and um, establish your, the way you're going to play and recruit, uh, and they recruit really well in the National League. You know, These are two clubs that were recruiting league players um, and, and, and really strong players at that level, and they've, they've maintained that momentum into this season. Um, you know, they're, they're not kind of a big club, great following, great support, um, you know, financially a, a decent backing for them. So uh, they've got all the tools to, to be successful in this division. We're, we're improving all the time. We've had to go a little bit different, if you like, in terms of um, the, the playing style coming into the club. We've now flipped on its head, really. We, we've turned it completely. Um, we've changed the dynamic of the squad and the profile of the squad. Um, that transition obviously takes time, but it's, it's really improving. It's really improving. The last three weeks have shown that. The last little bit is just make sure we're getting the wins that the performances deserve. Ben and the lads are feeling very confident going into today's game against Notts County. And speaking of Notts County, as mentioned earlier, let's take a look at a previous game. Let's go back to 2019 and there was plenty of goals. Let's see how it played out.
So let's hope we can go one better today and take all three points off of Notts County. hours or so and until next time have a great weekend it's goodbye for now